So background story. I was looking online for places for Vinny and I to visit um, in Barcelona and I saw a picture of Plaza de Rey come up. I didn't know what it was, but I immediately knew that I was supposed to do a, a prayer through dance there. So I told Vinny, we prayed about it, and this song entered my mind. I knew it was a song that God gave me to dance to called Worth It All by Rita Springer. I love Rita Springer, um, but actually my reaction was a not so humble one. I f had a fear response and thought, people are going to judge me because it's an old song. It was ridiculous. So I repented from that and said, I'm going to step into obedience. So we got to the location, and actually there was a museum there. And so for context purposes, we decided to go to the museum. Turns out it's this whole history of Barcelona um, that talked about um, Christianity in the place. And it, it's talking about, you know, the natives that were there, and then the Romans that came in, and then the Spanish monarchy. So you have this whole history of religion and politics and societies meshing together and taking over one another. And it even mentioned Christian martyrs um, before Constantine made Christianity legal in the region. So it was quite fascinating, and I was getting a better picture of why we were there. We exit from that section, and then we're in a chapel. And there was actually an exhibit in this chapel that's part of the museum. And it was um, illustrative art in Christianity's um, history, being more in, in Bibles, but also um, used as propaganda and think, you know, political um, cartoon type-ish um, in the history of Christianity. Many people couldn't read or write during the time when these pictures were put out, so they were very informative to people and influential into their faith. Um, and again, martyrs were talked about, the struggle of different, I'm going to say, genres of faith um, and of Christianity throughout the ages. So it was kind of disheartening, um, but also then I knew why I was supposed to dance there. So we exited from this chapel exhibit, and um, then God gave me specific movements, actually, to dance uh, in this place, literally over the old Roman ruins and, and the museum that we had just been in. And I got this, uh, one particular movement was me really displaying um, the hands, what symbolizes as the hands and the body posture of Jesus on the cross. Because really what I was declaring through my dance was Christ has healed the brokenness and the wounds of the world and of the church. And Christ is the foundation um, of our faith. And that's what Christianity is about. It, it's about a person and it's about um, a way and a lifestyle of love and forgiveness and redemption and not just searching for your own gain. And the song was perfect because the song mentions not searching for crowns, you know, not searching again for man's glory, but saying that the face of Yahweh is worth it all. And, you know, what's um, more magnificent than the face of Yahweh, than Jesus becoming man, this humanity and divine meeting, um, and we get to share in his likeness and in his oneness. That's what Christianity, you know, is about at this foundational level. So I felt really honored to do this dance as both a prophetic piece of um, calling out um, redemption um, within the church and also as a declaration of we are free from this past history of division. We can actually step forward into declaring um, Jesus is worth it all. This is the Christian faith in Barcelona and in the world. So this piece turned out to be um, very purposeful and very deep for me and I believe did something in the spirit and hopefully does something in your spirit as well. So enjoy. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it.